Hi, I'm State Representative Mary Felskowski. This week we made some important choices aimed at improving access to health care in the state. The Joint Finance Committee voted to increase our investment in health care by $1.6 billion. This includes support for personal care workers, family care, nursing homes, rural hospitals, and hospitals that serve people with lower incomes. We are not expanding Medicaid, and I want to tell you why. You may have heard that claim that Wisconsin is missing out on a big pot of money from the federal government. You've probably also heard the saying that if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. And that is definitely the case here. Medicaid was created decades ago as a safety net program for people on government assistance. Since then, the number served has grown exponentially. Currently, one in five people in Wisconsin are on Medicaid at a cost of about $9.5 billion a year. The cost to expand welfare to even more able-bodied adults is unsustainable and irresponsible. Currently, everyone in Wisconsin has access to affordable health insurance. Taking the Medicaid expansion means pushing certain folks who are currently paying very low premiums, as low as 18 cents a month for private health insurance, to take a big step backward and return to the welfare program. It just doesn't make sense. Adding even more people to the Medicaid rolls also means a pay cut for providers who serve them since Medicaid pays less and those costs would be passed on to Wisconsin's hardworking middle-class families through higher insurance premiums. According to a study by the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, the Medicaid expansion would result in an increase of up to $700 per year for a family of four. That's right. With expansion, we would pay more to push more people onto welfare. Wisconsin's hybrid approach to ensuring people have the health care coverage they can afford is working. We are in the top 10 states for the most residents insured. It's clear that welfare expansion, especially at a time when unemployment is historically low and the economy is strong, is the wrong choice for Wisconsin.